What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here putting a voice assistant smack down. In one corner we've got Siri running on the iPhone 5, in the other we've got Google Search on the Galaxy Nexus. We ran this test a few months ago when both were still in earlier builds. Uh, Jellybean was still unofficial, we had a device that was given out at Google I.O. and Siri was running in beta on a iPhone 4S. So it's official on the 5, it's official on the Galaxy Nexus, it's time for another round. Let's go see who comes out on top. So we've got six pretty representative questions of things that people might do on a daily basis with a virtual assistant. Uh, first, let me show you that these are both don't have any applications open, and they're running on the same Wi-Fi network. All right, let's go ahead and get started with a reminder. Remind me to feed the narwhal bacon. So both were pretty quick, different ways to be reminded. Siri, you can speak the time, uh, and on Google search, you have to go ahead and set it. But they both did it very quick. This is much faster than the iPhone 4S was when we ran this test. So I'll go ahead and go back, and let's try a timer. Set a timer for 10 minutes. I don't know what that Setting means. alarm. If you like, I can search the web for... Set a timer for 10 minutes. So both work pretty well. Uh, you do get much more visual cues uh, with Siri than you do with Google Search, but they both get the job done pretty well. All right, let's try some sports. What was the score of the Angels game? The Angels lost to the Rangers three to one. Texas yesterday, the final score was three to one. So either way, we can see the Angels are having a bad season, and both much quicker. This is a whole different battle than our initial square off was. Uh, so whether it's a combination of iOS 6 coming out of beta or iPhone 5 hardware, it's much, much, much faster. All right, let's go ahead and ask her a question. Will you marry me? All right, so here's the difference. Uh, Siri did not recognize my voice, whereas Google Search did. And what I want to do is a Google Search. So one actually is Google, and one is searching Google. So that can be representative for you as well. I will go ahead and go home. And let's try opening applications, since uh, both of these do that right now. Open Foursquare. So open Foursquare, and this one just searched for open Foursquare. Uh, that's a new feature of the new Siri. Now let's try some math questions. What's 12 times 19? Here's what I found. So they gave you uh, the answers. Uh, this brought up a full calculator you can actually work with. Uh, you can pull this up too on Google if you just Google Calculator. Uh, this one brought up Wolfram Alpha. So different strokes for different folks. So what's the conclusion? It's a totally different battle than it was when we first tested. Uh, when we first put these two head to head, Google search kick series butt around the corner and back. Right now we're seeing them both work very fast. Uh, you get a much prettier interface with Siri. You get prettier pictures, we saw with the sports scores. Uh, you get that Wolfram Alpha image that pops up when you try and do some math. It's much more visually appealing. Uh, on Google search, it's a little bit quicker, but you don't get that same sort of prettiness that you get with iOS. And that might be representative of the two operating systems, Android and iOS, uh, but both are very capable. Uh, Google Search's voice used to be much more natural and Siri sounded way more robotic. Uh, they've made Siri now sound a little bit less robotic, at least to my ear. Uh, so which one's better? This one is now a toss-up. Uh, both are very capable and both can do a lot of tremendous things. Uh, I do wish that I could say turn off Bluetooth uh, or turn off Wi-Fi, but unfortunately those features uh, aren't here yet, hopefully in next generations. Uh, but for right now, both of these work really, really well. Uh, what do you guys think? Which one did a better job? Which one would you use, assuming that you had access to both? i uh, love to hear your thoughts. Uh, be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. I'm John Rettinger, and I'll see you in the next video.